Absolutely love my Joy-Con charger. I will put the link right here if you're looking for a Nintendo Switch Joy-Con charger because it's awesome. Yeah, Monday everyone. So this is my makeup for today. I use ColourPop Super Shock Shadows in the shade Tank Candy, which is a ultra glitter. And then I use a little bit of this one called Press Juice and it's ultra metallic. So that is what I have on my eyes for the liner. I have on the the Zura Cosmetics Neon Graphic Liner Palette, and I have the blue one, but this palette is really nice. It activates with water, and it's awesome. For lips today, I have on the Maybelline Lipstick and Blushing Pout, which is a really nice shade. And for foundation today, I have on the Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator, which I love. And I have ColourPop Flexitarian Highlight on my cheeks. So, that's my makeup for today. So growing up, I was never into video games besides like Game Boy Color. I loved my Game Boy Color and mine was pink and I had the very first PlayStation, but I barely played it. Like I was only into the Spice Girl game. <laughs> like, yeah, when I was like a teenager and I would watch people play video games or like, you know, everyone was into video games. I had no interest in them at all like I would watch my boyfriend play them and you know I never had a desire to play them but now like a year or two ago I started playing video games like I absolutely love it and I barely go a day without playing games I love my Nintendo Switch I love a few computer games but I remember back in I remember back in the day, you could rent a game system from Blockbuster. I think I rented a Nintendo 64 and a PlayStation a few times. I don't remember how much it was, but I remember doing that. And I thought it was super cool that you could rent game systems. But yeah, I don't have an Xbox or a PlayStation, but you know, maybe in my future I will. But yeah, I love video games now. I'm always watching YouTube videos on different games. I watch a lot of different YouTubers on like video game news and things like that or new things coming out. I'm always like, Jeff, did you hear about this game or that game? I probably know more about what's coming out more than he does because he doesn't really keep up with things that are coming out. But I'm always like telling him, oh, this is coming out. That's coming out. This is so funny. You can order with the Base Mental Drugs mod on The Sims 4. You can order all this stuff. Now, I do not condone drugs in any way. And I know it is very dangerous. This is just a game. So it just makes it fun. And Sims do crazy things. And it's just something silly. But they have all different things in here. It's wild though. They can order them online or a dealer can come over. Or, you know, you can become a dealer in the game, which is crazy. Now with the Wicked Whims mod. Now this is a very graphic mod. I wish I could show you all the things that it does. But they can like pole dance and then you can choose what kind of sex they have, like positions, like very detailed things. But this is just funny. Like I'll show you some of the, the thing names they call them, the different animations. So let's do a ballerina one. So I never done the pole dancing on the Sims 4. And I thought it was going to be graphic, but it's not graphic. She's just like chilling. 
This is funny. I thought they were gonna do like something way different than I thought.